timed right, so I thought I'd watch it and then we'd go in. Yeah, yeah. Not that there's oh. like music going off everywhere and everyone's like, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't realize I shouldn't be talking about that. I, I didn't, I should have said really, but I'm terrible, so I didn't. Well, watch I'm this. not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Toggle head. Okay, so, um... Wait, Edda. Toggle Odin blue. Toggle Odin's Legion blue. Toggle Blame Elias red. There we go, boys. We did it. And I can do that for any team, any tide, which are wherever they're on, and we can just change it all day long. And obviously, Hedda can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> but now you can talk. Um, so, Blame Elias is playing the uh, the really good strategy, actually, that they play against us, which is they play quite a lot of what, we, what you would call trash units. You know, spear guards. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Green, green swords. Wow, they got five pole axes, five moles, two short swords. A couple of pikes as well. Cool. No All the muskets. Yeah. Six muskets for the attackers. That I honestly think good. muskets next next season, like when the the runes and that come out again, oh, I reckon muskets going to be ridiculous. I've already said Head is not liking this because he's a musket player, right? But it looks like it's going to be broken. I'm not having and, it. And uh, I think we might have to look at maybe reduce, like making it so you can only have a maximum of like two muskets per team or something because. Oh. Can't do that. On well, all, of, all of their bomb abilities, you get four second, uh, like constant four second bomb cooldown. It's um, it's gonna be too good, man. Um, I am interested to see how the uh, the defenders deal with all these muskets, though. Um, yeah. you, the normal strat would be you go on the wall, a bomb a little bit of their units, just to kind of get some damage down, because so, it, it kind of delays their first push on aim. Um, yeah. Right. Let's I, see if I, I can think get in. A, yeah, that's a big A push that's coming already. Oh, why did it literally send me to the other side of the world? It, it, did, me to, it did me this the other day. There we go. Like, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. At least it didn't put me under the map. Right, here we go. You can see, yeah? Oh, yeah, see, cool. that, can see. that's something Trebbing you don't the... want to see. Yeah, you don't want to see that, because there's, there's so much... You've got all of those musket players, like... It's 44%. Yeah, that, that's why they've got the muskets. They can bomb it down, and they're going to swap to other classes then, maybe. Maybe, but also oh, the, the defenders are sallying out though. You got Big Mac and Bravo over there. Uh, what are they using, Big Mac and Bravo? Keshigs. Two sets of Keshigs, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, this is this means that they have to be careful on behind them as well. Yeah. But I don't like this trap, especially this early, because it gives them so much information. What but do you it mean? It's too early. It's too early to sally out here because. You ah right yeah attack. and yeah yeah and if they because they've taken the resupply as well like they definitely know they're there whereas. Saying that it's making them set up like they haven't to react to it, even though the Bravo and Big Mac are probably not going to go over the bridges. Um, they're making people turn and face them at least. Yeah, this is. I, I, I don't normally like the early, but it, it's, it's kind of working to their advantage a little bit. <laughs> Somebody just did exclamation deader, by the way, in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, so this is actually made Odin's Legion. Uh, Think twice about what the hell they're gonna do. See if they just did that, that, pay, that push on aim. Just looked at you know on the Z. They could if they do a full 15 man breach. I'm gonna check the back of the gate. It looks like the gate's oh. actually almost empty, so they could. Well, Big Mac's gonna get the resupply, and that's gonna slow the attackers down even a lot, even more. This is actually a really good strat from Elias for defending yeah, this. Because I, you can proper see that Odin's are like, what is going on? Yeah, they're, they're not committing to their own strategy. I mean, you, yeah. you just have to look behind you. I mean, it's easy enough to look behind I'm gonna, you. I'm going to go at least so we can actually see on both sides what the hell's going on. And thanks for the uh, follows, by the way, people. What I'm going to do is I'll go through the follows at the end of the match, and we'll just concentrate on the match and do other bits afterwards. But thanks for everyone for, for showing up as well, and uh, thank you for the follows. Two ineffective traps right there, by the way. One on yeah. the breach, and then the second yeah. one hitting literally the wall. Odin's are definitely like, what is going on here? <laughs> Evolution of War has he been set there now with Fort Abrachio to try and stop him? He has. But with two heroes and two sets of Keshig, that's going to be difficult because he's facing the one direction and the Keshig doesn't come from the side. Look, that's the Fort Abrachio's basically gone. Yeah, both heroes, are, yeah. Oh, he's already killed one of the back guys as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many Keshigs did he lose for that unit, though? I Not don't know, there was the there was two of them though, weren't there? So I think Big Mac basically made him turn and face and Bravo run him over. Uh, I think Big Mac jumped into the middle with a belly flop as well. Right, so here's the big push here coming now. I'm going to try keeping an eye on the back. Surrendering now. That, that's, that's, 
that's surrounding all sides. The flamers on the attackers and the defenders. Oh, the defending flames are good. Although the attackers have jumped straight on top of them, so they might better stop them from, from going. There's the unit of Shenjins in the bottom down here as well. The attackers are going for them pretty heavily as well. And now you've got ACA bugs just yes. come through the point. Oh, you can start capping A. Why isn't he capping A? You could have gone. Ah, he's going to try and get it around. All right. Ah, right. There you go. And Big Mac's coming in to try and chase him down as well. But those IPGs are going to completely stop the Keshigs now. I wonder if it would have been better to just get a couple. Yeah. yeah, we didn't get any of the heroes, did he? No, he didn't. But the thing is that you just need the heroes to stop Keshis. I think he's one of its biggest weaknesses. It's got no CC to stay. But they did win. The, they did start to win the uh, the breach push. Actually, that was just, that was that was good. Yeah, for them. they they have won the breach push. Yeah. Uh, so they've got a hero extra out as well. They've completely cleared out the back. So Drayton, Tomzy, Voxel, Ruffle, and Mist have just uh, rejoined. But a, they actually have a shorter return than the defenders do. The defenders have got like six dudes on supply Still at the back have. as well. Or cab that's gonna come in. Now it's, yeah. now it's on the, uh, the That's uh, a wasted Trev. I'm gonna change size so we can see what's going on. Because outside the walls there's not much going on anymore. So I think are the defenders giving up? No, they're not. There's not much what are they waiting for though? Is it because the pike? See, is that my dog? They, they, they've given it up, they've got they've lost A. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good call actually, because they're yeah. It would have been hard to retake. That was a good call. Because there was Modal blocking the bridge completely for like the majority of the, the reinforcements that would have come. And the, there's definitely more pikes and stuff in the background here. Yeah, there's pikes, there's muskets, there's multiple muskets, fought a bracket. Yeah, they would they would not got that. Not with a cavalry rush. Not no, in a million years. Are they defending they, C? It looks like they're going to defend C. I actually Max. would have expected them not to bother defending C. I mean, you, you, when, with this many units, I mean, they, they only lost a few of their first units, so you, you yeah, can yeah. defend C. Um, it's all about trying to whittle down time for home, because home, the defenders are at a disadvantage just because of the entrances that you can get all time to the home. Um, By the way, any questions, boys, in the chat? Like, uh, I'm, we've got a five minute delay, so when you ask it, it's like five minutes behind us. If anybody else in the chat sees it though and can answer, please feel free to, because like when you're asking me what a unit is that's purple, say, Firecracker, <laughs> this is your question. Like, that happened five minutes ago for me, so I have no clue which unit was purple. Like, now. <laughs> but if you guys can help each other out, feel free. So they've got the dock. Sorry, Edda, for, for cutting you off again. Don't apologize. It's like, you're the stream host. Like, you've got to, you've got to interact with them as well. Um... Right, what have we lost see, so the key to The key to C defense is that, big, is that back supply. Um, the one at the top here, you mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah. it's absolutely key. Um, or the whole of C is um, it's terrible. terrible. Yeah. So it, it puts you at a disadvantage there. Uh, but the fact of the matter is you've got that resupply behind it. So the attackers both have to put pressure on there and then also get a, a good advantage on C. Now, they're not doing the double push because now they only have to defend from one side, which yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't particularly like. I'm almost um, was expecting uh, the defenders to push down to like where Ruffle and that is. I'll zoom in for you, Edda, so you can see yeah. it, because you can't see my, my pointer. Like, if you go down here where Otto von Bismarck is now, I was maybe expecting them to push a bit further forward, but... Yes and they... no. I mean, also, all the little... Berserkers that spawned in are dead as well. Yeah, that little training house that's right next to the uh, the ramp that comes up, that's actually a really good spot to pull your units in, but again, it's the 15-man death pull from both sides. Yeah. They're kind of isolated there, but that's a nice little spot you can use. Uh, but it looks like the push is starting there. Um, yeah. The defenders have lost 400 troops as well. Yeah. So they've lost that, double. Got to remember that there's no hero limit deaths on this. Yeah, uh, this yeah. That's that was pivotal uh, last week from on a, a couple of the matches. Because mm. normally on tournaments you can only have three deaths and then you're out the game. On this one, it's just you can die as many times as you want. I think it was the maximum oh, so far was like five or six deaths. Though. Oh that's a good Lord. one. That is oh. a good one. That was a good trev. Yeah. Well, oh, but look at that. See the supply? And they've completely abandoned. I mean, they're getting the unit kills here. Like, yeah, yeah. It looks like they've, they've mistimed the uh, the surround on them. Um, but I think the attackers are getting the better still, though. Like, that trev. Yes, I know. That tre that's a good trev as well. Mm hmm. I mean, that front line is completely demolished right now. Like, it's, yeah. Like, you've mainly got just the heroes, but there's not that many defending units either. Uh, They've just lost five them. heroes as well, the attackers. Uh, defenders are now... Well, Big Mac's in the background, though, so he's going to take a while again at the fight. You've got Lou and Leon Kerr. Is he just trying to be a pain in the ass? I don't know if Evolution yeah, War chasing him is going to... Oh, they just trying to stop him getting... All right, yeah. yeah. Oof, the attackers just lost a lot of heroes. Yeah. 
a lot of heroes. They need to pull back from this instead of losing everyone. I think they're going to get a full 15-man wipe, aren't they? And then have to start basically down at A and B and reset completely. Yeah, or they spawn think... down at the docks and now the defenders are going to be able to push in and from both sides. Are technically three sides. And Crash. the attackers, when they spawn, <laughs> are going to get ruined. Oh no, the defenders are pulled back, alright. But they... Yeah. The, 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 I honestly right this blame Elias strategy because they've taken the initiative a, a couple of times now the fact that they've done that especially at the beginning you could proper see Odin's were just like what the hell <laughs> like they they it made them pause definitely but also, they're on the same leftover units though as well at the same time like it was a good yeah. strategy delay them but it allowed them to get that free A, and I mean, it's risky to defend C, and it's risky to defend home um, on this map especially. I mean, yeah. I think I'd say home's easier to defend than, than C, though, definitely. Oh, yes, 100%. But Looks like they're coming for the, the top resupply this time, but everything's there. For, saying that, if they stack them up, that's, that's not completely trivial because you've got this, like, TP-shaped house, but um, you can definitely land Trebs upon... There we go. Have the defenders seen it though? Yeah, they have. Really, they, what they want to be doing is making them engage and then treb stuff. So that they're not going to be able to pull out, do you know what I mean? You can tell how pivotal this supply is. Um, yeah. I mean, they should have they should have really pushed that. Oof, them Shenjins there, did you see that? The yeah. ones in the background here, that was a really good bomb onto the top of the ramp. I you got Aranor going behind now. them as well? Yeah, I don't see any here. I only see the people uh, like delaying on the supply. I don't see them going on those important units, which is nah. is massively important. Like, I mean, got, they just got wiped there. Yeah, they just got hammered. I think it's too late anyway. The, the, the time they'd have had to decisively won that attack on the supply to get over to see. I think it's uh, it's going to be GG because they've they, all of them have died. I think twice now. Let's see matter. if I can get there. Yeah, it doesn't matter really because. The only Mr. Dale, no death, but they've definitely I mean, had decent trebs though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if going up that bridge, all of them at once in that tiny little area with the defenders having Shenjis and Zakali militia up exactly. to just bomb them in the tiniest area was the best idea. Annoying come these cashings. Yeah. That's, oof. This is brutal. I mean, unit-wise, the defenders are only 100 ahead, but it's the time that's the problem. They've got two minutes to get C. Uh, they're all respawning back in now. What they need to do is really just fucking bum rush C now. Just bum rush C, try and block off the resupply here and block off behind them so they can just kill what's there and force them to come back. But the defenders know they're already moving. Elias is uh, there, Panzer's pulling back. The attackers are just going in heroes, which is what they need to do. They just play time here. Um, and yeah. With two minutes left, it's going to be a odd off point even if the defense even if the attackers was to somewhat wipe them completely and get those units yeah. on on c you can see two units of cab there which should have been used earlier in fairness like yeah. um it, the def it's, it's, defenders have got this though there's too many of them up, i think the, yeah the, the the attackers are losing heroes like crazy like absolute crazy it was a great try yeah it was a really great try actually like uh, yeah that, that a push was patient and they used their opportunities um, it was on the defenders that they lost that. Um, it, it was until the C, I think. It was like, because when, when they hesitated, yeah. when they actually took the fight, when they were like, like we are literally going to push now, the, the fights that they took until they got up to C, they won. It was just, I think, I don't know. I hate I mean, to say it, but I think they just got outplayed, man. Like, I think just the plan that uh, Blame Elias had was just, it was just more refined, and it seemed to just be like rock, paper, shotgun. And exactly. And blame Elias just seemed to have the shotgun in this case, like... They didn't They didn't attack that backside. They've got a really good supply on that backside, right? Yeah. And that's what the, 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 the point we see is surrounding and conquering, not just bulking them up in one big uh, strategy line and, and hoping to play against Trebs, because they have got a supply super near them. They've got... Uh, that Trebuchet, whole, all Trebuchet of the day coverage. attackers are, are gone. Yeah, <laughs> Trebuchet cover as well from, from that TP house as well, which is... <laughs> it's it's not an easy point to attack, but it should have been done as a uh, as a separate entity where you you, you choose the two different. Yeah. Maybe a five man somewhere else just to kind of put some pressure on the defenders elsewhere. Right, that was 
a brutal game though. Bravo, holy crap from Blame Elias. Five Please. heroes killed, 12 assists and 152 units. Like, well done that man. Um on and on as well. Nine, one and six on his uh, on his mall as well. That was incredible. Yeah. Like that is like coming even got S ranks as well, man. That was a very, very well thought out thing. Oh von Bismarck though was all doing work with his units. I mean that it just shows what it means to take the initiative. Obviously as the defender normally it's like difficult to take the initiative. But you've seen it at the beginning, it made Odin's think like what the hell is going on and made them think about having to reset. It's good. It, it was a really good strategy because it does throw you Ugly off when mug. people defend C that because works. it's not. It's not a, a common. It's not planned for. Use. It's no. it's not planned for. That's the problem. Yeah, and uh, but you do need that plan, and you can't just hope to fifteen man death ball it. It's it was it was a silly decision to fifteen man death ball a C. Like, yeah. Um. But again, it was well played on the attackers. They took the initiative when they did. Um, I just would have liked to have seen like them to play a little bit better on that C point, and they they could have taken this to home with that, a hundred percent. But you can also see um, I, was, I was talking about this earlier, which is the value in the trash units that um, Blame Elias had. They had the cover. With